Welcome back. Every day here on the show, we look into issues happening right now around the world and happen, happening in contemporary culture. We like to separate fact from fiction. Now, Omarosa Magnol has been all over the news lately. You see her here. You recognize this face. She's been on your television screens and your papers. Now, she's been in the news for her decision to release secret recordings of her time during the White House staff. Now, she's been on an all-out media tour to promote her book, Unhinged. On one appearance on The Daily Show, she made this claim. She said, quote, he said, referring to the president, he would help reduce the violence in Chicago. And as we know, having seen 600 murders this weekend. Now, she appeared to be making a reference to the number of murders in Chicago the previous weekend, where there was admittedly a number of incidents involving gun violence. But a check with our NBC affiliate in Chicago reported just one murder that weekend. In fact, the numbers show that Chicago hasn't seen 600 murders in all of 2018 combined. That number is closer to 300. So we can verify that the claim that there were 600 murders in Chicago last weekend is patently false. If you have something at home that you want me to verify or something you may have heard on your television screens, maybe you've heard it on your Facebook feed or your Twitter feed, and you want me to verify if it's true or not, go ahead and reach out to me on Facebook or send me an email. Those addresses listed on your screen right now. Now, Heidi, it is possible that Omarosa was referring to the number of murders that happened last year in Chicago uh, combined in 2017, and that number is closer to 600, although not exact. However, the number of murders obviously last weekend in yeah. Chicago did not equal 600. That is something that we would have certainly reported on. Yes, that is for sure. Well, let's go 